Welcome back, this is the Emma Jack, and today we got Desolation Gunslinger Suicidal. That's right, I'm playing the, the Desolation perk. It's newly released, uh, just yesterday. I've been reading, um, Manwa lately. The mission is underway. So I'll go Don't through the list of, uh, of what I've read. I read the, uh, the Descent of the Demonic Master. We had a whole episode based on that one. Uh, good Manwa. Enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was quite, quite readable. And uh, definitely a, 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 a break from the, the typical for like the, the trashy um, stuff, but, but we had a whole episode based on that one, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, after that I read Auto Hunting, which is about uh, a dude who has, so the, the, the world gets like infested by monsters and they have um, all kinds of dungeons and stuff that they have to go raid. Um, and, and, you know, yada yada yada, okay? Like, typical, um, real world dungeon monster kind of spawning thing. And, uh, he gets this, uh, this skill where it, like, pops up with this little, like, HUD thing in his vision. That, uh, if you ever played, like, a mobile MMORPG, uh, you'll have, like, the auto hunt thing and it just kind of, like, runs around and, and automatically kills all the monsters around you. Um, so we got that showing up in his vision, and when he hits it, it uh, it'll move his body automatically, um, and like sort of to his will. Um, but uh, you know, it, it pretty much just it does whatever is the best thing to do at the current moment. Um, so he ends up like becoming like a very powerful hunter, and and is able to to do a whole bunch of stuff because of the auto hunting. Um, thing and then they they end up like going into a whole bunch of, of other stuff and we're not gonna spoil too much of it but it was it was enjoyable but a little bit short uh, it kind of like stuff wasn't really like happening so much stuff happened but I, I, I felt like more could have happened in the time that I was reading it felt a little bit slow um, and uh, just didn't really feel like there was enough in the in the and what I read, it, I, there was like 30 or 40 chapters, and they, they, it's a short number of chapters as well. So that's that's definitely part of the uh, the problem. Um, but that's that's really the the thing that kind of got me about it was that it was too short, which I think is um, personally one of the better compliments you can give to, uh, to to something that is still in the process of being created. <laughs> um, is that there isn't enough of it? Because they're like, well, they're continuing, so that's good. Thank you. You know. Um, but uh, yeah, that was, was like the main thing that I kind of had with it was just what we here, boys it was too short. It's a good good manhwa, but uh, if if you're looking for something to binge over the next few days, there just there isn't enough. There just there just isn't. Um, and then I read uh, the tutorial tower of the advanced player, which is about uh, similar kind of thing: dungeons and monsters and stuff start appearing in the real world. Yada yada yada. Okay, same kind of concept. Um. And this tower spawns, so these, these these towers spawn around the world, and um, people kind of get like sucked into them to, to train them up to be able to handle the uh, their responsibilities. Uh, the main character was like the first person to get sucked up into the tower, and uh, it took him 12 years to get out because he just kept on like looping so he'd, he'd beat the tower and then go back to the first floor and then beat the tower and go back to the first floor so he just kept on repeating the process over and over and over again for 12 years whereas other people would spend you know a month in it or something like that right so he, he ended up coming out being um, a little over leveled a little bit overpowered and uh, he was just kind of like a, a bit of a he came out and he's like, I don't really care about any of uh, what's going on right now. I'm just going to do my own thing. And uh, yeah, he's got friends and stuff and whatnot. But uh, also, a good manhwa. Liked it a lot. Um, and then uh, right now, I'm reading uh, I Stack Experience Through Writing Books. And, you know... They can't all be good. <laughs> they can't. They can't all be good, right? Like sometimes you have to get a bad apple, okay? And uh, this is definitely a bad apple, I would say. It's just 
bad. It's comically bad. I'm still reading it because it's just comically bad. So the um, the main character is like a bookworm. He loves reading books and stuff. And then one day he finds a book that um, lets him gain like experience through writing down his experiences. So, you know, he, he writes down that he went on a date and he gets a certain amount of experience. Um, he writes down that he's, you know, saved somebody's life. He gets a certain amount of experience. Um, you know, and... Uh, thus far in the story anyway it um it has to be true experiences like something that he actually did um i don't it might change later on i don't know but uh thus far that's been the premise of it and um it's just bad they don't do it well so he ends up getting like dumb powers and then they end up writing it dumbly so he gets like super taste and then he just can't eat anything because it's all gross to him now and he's like yeah i'm gonna take my salt and pepper to uh to school because i can't eat the <laughs> the school meals because they're so gross so i put my own salt and pepper on it and now they're delicious and like literally everybody in the school is like hey can you fix my meal too and it's like i don't like just it's just stupid. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's comical. I'm, I'm loving it. But it's bad. It's really, really bad. But I'm loving it. I love I love reading bad stuff, honestly. Because I, I just get to... I, I get such a kick out of... Um, out, of uh, out of... Out of how bad they are. And uh, this one definitely does that, so... It gets a, it gets a recommendation from me. I stack experience through writing books. It's a big recommendation for me if you like trash. If, you, if you're looking for something that you're going to just read and be like, this is so bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a, a good candidate for that. Um, and, you know, I, I always feel bad when I when I say this kind of stuff because, like, somebody made it, you know, like somebody put their time and into to writing it and drawing it and everything and I'm just like yeah no it's absolute trash um, I always feel bad because I'm like I don't want to like you know it's, it's my own subjective opinion of it I don't want to like but it's just so bad um, I don't I don't I, I feel bad but I, I also at the same time it's it's bad dude I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the right way to do it is, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's that's what I'm reading right now. I've got another like hundred chapters or something like that. I'm on chapter thirty, so it's uh, a ways to go. I've got quite a bit more of this to read, quite a bit more of it to enjoy, and uh, I look forward to it. I just I love reading this kind of stuff. That's just I mean, you know, part of it is the translation too. Um, part of it is just the translation not doing it justice. Which is uh, kind of a problem that you have to, to take into to account with um, when you're criticizing uh, foreign works is is you know how much of that is is due to the translation being you know garbage because uh, the translation you know the translators can take a lot of liberty with um, with uh, with what they're translating and end up changing the way the story feels to to a big degree. Like, there are a number of novels that uh, are absolute garbage if you read them in in one translator, and then really, really good if you read them with another translator. Um, many of them are uh, the official translation sucks, and the fan translation is amazing, um, which is actually quite common. Um, yeah, it, uh, it, it's... You got you got to concern yourself with that and, and and recognize that it can be a problem, but uh, at, at least with with this one, that's 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 not the case. <laughs> it's you know the 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 I, I can tell when it's an issue with translation, but just like the the basic you know what is the plot? It's just bad. Um, it's, I mean, the, 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 the basic plot is, is interesting, you know, like getting a, a book where you write your experiences into it and you gain experience. That's like 
you know, good, but but just like the basic, you know, like what they're doing, and 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 it's just bad, because like you know, it, it's not bad translation that um, everybody in the school is running up to him and like trying to to uh, get him to put salt and pepper on their food. <laughs> you know, it's not bad translation that he, uh, you know, did some some Chinese calligraphy, and uh, now he's friends with um, some world-renowned chef who puts uh, soy sauce in barrels above dead mice. It's not a bad translation that. Um, you know, he's, uh, oblivious to everything that's going on around him. Like, these these are things that are actually happening there, whether, whether the translation is, is good or, or bad, but, um, you know, so, so it's, it's not, it's not just a bad translation, although that is also there. I'm not, I'm not taking that into account. It's just, the general story of it is just so bad. It's, it's amazing. I love it. It's so much fun to read because of that. And I don't know, maybe maybe their goal was to just make something that was just a stupid power fantasy. You know, that's that's also fair. And if they if they if that's their goal, then then they flippin' nailed it because it's it's so good. Um but I I feel like their their goal was to make something that sounded more um not grounded, but but something a little bit more serious and and it's just it's it's not. It, that's not what it is. It's just, yeah, it's 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 funny. I mean, it might it might be a parody of uh, of the the like typical power fantasy stuff that happens. It could be. I could see that being the case because it is just like that bad. Um. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. But I'm I'm having a lot of fun reading it. Oh my god, I can't I can't shoot him in the leg, dude. Blow his kneecaps out, man. Get him. Get him, girl. I don't know when I'm going to get my crosshair back. I want to get it back cuz I like having my little pink crosshair, but I'm also like, I don't know, I'm kind of kind of lazy. I'm kind of I'm kind of lazy to be honest with you. So I'm not I'm not sure we'll get it back. I'm not I'm not sure. Break time's over. Get back to work. Get back to work. I don't know what I'm going to read next. And my friend uh, my friend sent me uh, this huge list of He's he's such a good friend. I love him so much. He um he sent me this huge list of uh, of manhwa about uh, people in the real world living with supernatural powers. You know, whether they're reincarnated um, from you know God in another world, or if they're just uh, they came into some kind of power naturally, or if they uh, are some kind of prodigious, you know, whatever. Like you know, some kind of power in the the normal world, like solo leveling, auto hunting, descend to the demonic master. Um, Tutorial tower for the advanced, but like all of these fall into this category and are on that list. Um, he sent me this big old list of it, so I'm, I'm going through it, and uh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I, I think I've read most of the other stuff on that list, except for uh, a couple of them, which I'm kind of looking at the plot of it and being like, I don't know. And the other thing is, is when I read a manhwa, I like for there to be a lot of chapters. When a manhwa has like 20 or 30 chapters, I'm like, I don't know. Get back to me in like two years when it has 150, you know? Like, that's that's a little bit more my style. When when it's got, you know, 30, like I'm going to be done with it in like five minutes and there's not going to be anything that happens. I'm going to be bored. I need I need more than that. So I, I saw Solo Login, uh, which looked interesting. But I uh, only had like 30 chapters, so I'm just like, I don't know, why am I going to bother reading that? Like, it's just, it's, it's too short. It's too short. I uh, don't want to 
inflate my uh, my favorites list with a bunch of Monwa that I, I'm not really fully invested in anyway. And I think I've mentioned it before, but I'll, I'll take a longer and, and worse story over a shorter and better one almost any day of the week when I'm looking for, for something along these lines in this kind of like genre or niche. Uh, just being able to get invested with characters and, and see the character development and, and growth and and all this kind of stuff that happens over over the the course of the uh, the story, it, it makes like it, it. I have time to read, okay? Like that's that's not a problem. I can read a few hours every day. That's like I, I have the time for that. It's it's not hard at all. I can read while I'm on the toilet. I can read while I'm like cooking. I can read while I'm like there's 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 tons of time for me to have some some downtime and and read some some manhwa or whatever every day. Like I have time to do that. Um, it's not hard for me to do that, and uh, so to me, reading um, reading uh, a longer manhwa is possible. I have the time for that, and I also read pretty quickly, so like I, I get caught up reasonably quickly as well. Um, And, uh, for me, the, the world building that comes from having the length of your story typically outweighs the world building from having just a better writer. Because, uh, just if you have more time to do it, you're gonna build more world. It might not be a better world, but there's, there's gonna be more world, and I'm more of a quantity over quality when it comes to that past the past the minimum you know there's there's a a minimum level of like this is just too bad to be read um but uh, you know as long as you're past that like there, there's a lot of stuff that's like sexist and racist and just gross and like you know just just bad you know like like Basically, objectively bad. If, they, you, if, you, if your opinion is that it's good, then I, I don't want to talk to you kind of like bad. You know what I mean? Like, like that level of bad is, is a, is a no-go for me. Um, but the most stuff that I, I, I read typically doesn't uh, cross that path. There, there's this one romance manga, or manga that um, my friend sent me. And, uh, like, in it, it's just it's just a lot of, like... You know, when, when, uh, like, the two of them want to get married, but she's like, I don't really want to, like, have to give up my job, I really like my job, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if I'm ready for kids yet, and it, it just, like, it's just kind of, like, really, really strongly putting forth the, the, the idea that, like, a woman, when she's married, is expected to not have a job and just have kids and then look after them, you know, like... The man is supposed to go to work and neglect his kids, and the and the the woman is supposed to um, uh, neglect herself and look after the kids. There's there's no middle ground. There's no compromises. It's it's the woman is the kid taker or the kid maker and the kid watcher, and the man is the bread maker. You know, like that's very set in stone kind of uh, ideals there. And uh, for me, it's just like really uncomfortable to read because it's like sexist, misogynistic, just garbage. Um, and it's not even like like the the worst kind of sexism to me is when it's at like that level where it's just so cultural. You know what I mean? Where it's it's like just expected. You know, like nobody's mentioning it. Nobody's going out of their way to like intentionally hate women. You know, it's just like this is what's expected of you as a woman. You know, like you're expected to do this. Nobody's telling you to do it. Nobody's saying this is what you have to do. It's just that on a cultural level, this is what is expected of you. You know, like this is what this is what you do. There there's no you know, like that's that's the kind of stuff that really really gets to me is, is when it's at like that that level of like cultural. Just just that that huge those, those expectations that get put on women that, that really shouldn't be. Um, that's that's the one that bothers me. And that one, that one manga really did a lot of that. And uh, really, really made it like 
you know, you're you're a woman, so you're making a baby, and then you're watching it. And I'm a man, so I'm gonna, uh, you know, be uh, going to work and neglecting the kids. And I'm like, no, like. You just, you both work reasonable hours so that neither of you have to neglect your kids. You get a babysitter or send them to school or something. And then you, you get to come home and you get to spend the weekends and you get to spend the evenings and you get to have time with your kids. Both of you. But, uh... And I know it's not like always how it is in Japan. It's not like Japanese culture is, is necessarily... Um... You know, misogynistic. It is. But that's true of, like, you know, you name a country, you name a culture, it's misogynistic, almost certainly. Uh, it's just how it is, you know? Like, it's it's just the way life is. Um, so, you know, there, there's there's a, plenty of people in Japan who don't feel that way, who, who don't feel like uh, a woman has to... And, they, and there's many manga that I read as well that, that, that reflect that uh, women aren't necessarily expected to, to do that. And uh, those are the kind of manga that I enjoy. Those are the kind of people I enjoy talking to more. Those are the kinds of, like, you know, that kind of thing. But, um, you know, whoever whoever wrote that manga is, is not somebody who's very forward-thinking, I guess. Uh, they're, they're, they're very set in their ways and, and set in their old ways. And uh, it's, just, it's just an unpleasant thing to read. So, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I'm like, yeah, this is just unreadable, you know? Is, is that kind of like sexism the, the racism you know like any of that kind of stuff that's that's no right like that's that's no for me um, but pretty much anything else like as long as it isn't offensive or disgusting you know like that kind of stuff then then I'm pretty much okay with it as long as it passes that minimum level then I'm like yeah give me more of it you know and then, and then some things end up being like really, really good, and you're like, "Well, I have to read it, even if it's short. Like, I just, I have to." Um, so, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So, thank you for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.